What I want to discuss now is how to manipulate the data that you may have in a string variable and manipulate it in such a way that it looks good in the browser. I guess the concept would be called string templating. Now first, consider my string over here, which is just simply Dragos Bogdan. Now, with regards to how the browser interprets this, this it just interprets it as these characters, D-R-A-G-O-S space B-O-G-D-A-N. Now, by templating this thing, you can actually affect the way it's going to be rendered on the screen. This is something that you'll find yourself doing very often when working with uh, third-party APIs like maybe Twitter or Google or Facebook because when you receive data from them you're just going to receive strings of text and after you receive that you want to um, basically add other strings to it to make it presentable on your page. So let me just give you an example. Let's start with the document uh, document dot write function in JavaScript and what this is going to do is just simply display the string on the page as opposed to the alert function which is going to display a pop-up now when we can look at this example you see that well there you go it just displays that string data right on the page well that's a good first step but let me show you what we could do when we're templating something I'm gonna add another string to it some one that I didn't actually declare I'm just gonna do it manually myself right now I'll start with double quotes and I'm gonna do the just a string value for the opening header tag in HTML I'll add a plus sign because I'm gonna add my string and at the end of my variable over there which is my name I'll add another double quotes and I'll have the terminating h1 tag. So the result is going to be, when I refresh the browser, all of a sudden this is being treated as header text. Now, you could go on and do this even more complex. Let's uh, add another line to this thing. I'll just go plus, and then instead of having a header, I'll have a p. And although it looks a little funky in the JavaScript, once you go back to the HTML, you see that now I have two things over here. I have my name as a header, and then my name as a paragraph text. Um, this is a very, very basic example of templating, but no matter what you're working with when you're templating, this is the fundamental concept. You're going to pull some data in, in which is going to be string data like I have uh, here and then from there using some kind of templating whether it's uh, jQuery or just JavaScript right you'll be able to just add the HTML elements to the page that'll make it one to make the data more semantic and two uh, allow you to actually be able to work with a 